Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. Out of cheesy! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If memory serves me right, I was feeling rather blue during the entire two months Michiba was in the hospital. Which makes me all the happier to say that my man has finally returned. He has completely regained his strength and is ready once again to defend his honor and reputation in the kitchen stadium. The mightiest of Iron Chefs is back. I had to be absent for health reasons for a while. I deeply apologize for that. But I've regained my physical strength and my mental strength completely. I'm committed to give you great battles here on out. I ask for your support. I heartily welcome you back, but I am not the only one. Possibly the best among young rising chefs in Kyoto has eagerly awaited your return as well. Let me introduce this young samurai, hoping for a shot at turning Michiba's return into a battle trophy. Head chef of Senjukaku in Kyoto, Kenji Kaji. Kaji stepped into the world of Kyoto cuisine at age 22. After gaining the basics, he accumulated experience in a city known for its top-class kitchens, Kyoto. In a mere five years, at the age of 27, he was scouted by the famous restaurant Senjukaku to head its kitchen. This was also a turning point in his development, leading to enhanced sensitivity and greater understanding of seasonal produce. At age 29, he mastered the thousand-year-old Ikama school style of culinary artistry. Kaji eventually became more open-minded and started using generic local vegetables, which differentiated his kitchen from others who were only interested in staying in line with traditional recipe mandates. Kaji wishes to expose his talents in a challenge to the master, Roksaburo Michiba. So now, Kaji, the opportunity is yours. Prove yourself worthy of the title of fastest rising chef from the ancient capital. I can't predict how I'll do, but uh, I'll do the best I can using the skills that my teachers have generously bestowed upon me.
Today, an impressive young chef and the return of Iron Chef Michiba with Toshiro Kanagawa looking on an all Japanese cuisine duel. And with us, so elegantly attired today, <laughs> actress Mayuko Takata. It's my pleasure Welcome. to be here. Takata san, yes. finally, Michiba is back. Well, I did miss him a bit. Happy days are here again, you have to say. Yes, I feel happy. All right, and our commentator, Dr. Yukio Hatori Doc. Always a pleasure. Okay, let's bring on Chairman Kaga. ミチバの復帰。一体どれほどのファンがそれを待ち望んでいたことでしょう。しかし、それを一番心待ちにしていたのは今日の挑戦者です。京料理界の若手最高峰。さあ皆さん大きな拍手でお迎えください。京都千住
tournament. Ah, so they're kind of a plum treat then, you might say. <laughs> exactly, and they're three years old. Three years? Yes. All right, and these here that Michi was getting go for around two or three bucks a pop. That sounds about right, yeah. Uh, much different from the ones you find on top of the rice in the bento lunchbox. <laughs> yeah, these are a little bit higher end. Okay, how about cooking these, though? It must be tough. Mm. Well, you know, I personally think it's impossible <laughs> to cook them. Is the theme. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's more of a use for seasoning something. That's really the only way to do it. Well, you do have a point there, but if it's too salty or sour as an ingredient, there are ways to get the salt out from these cured plums by using vinegar right, or there's some right. other ways All of right. doing mm -hmm. it as well. Uh, the Iron Chef right now is doing it, you can see, in hot water. How does that work? Well, it removes excess salt by, by boiling them. It draws out the, the salt. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And this is one way to do it when you really don't want to have a dish that shouldn't be too salty. Okay. And this is the, the quickest way to mm -hmm. do it and probably the easiest as well. Okay. Iron okay, Chef doing that, and now the challenger still up there very carefully uh, <laughs> cherry-picking his plums today. <laughs> exactly. A very picky man when it comes to pickled plums, Kaji is. Yeah, well, he's putting a, a, lot of, a lot of care and a lot of time into this part. He's very important. Getting ones that pass the test. Kaji hails from Kyoto, one of the top chefs in the ancient capital, and he's mastered the ceremonial cooking style using early-era knives. That's right, yeah. You know, he's very young. I was actually surprised. And there's <laughs> Chef Takashi Meta, who's challenged here. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Both yes. he and Kaji are from the same school of traditional cooking. Kyoto style, yes. Talking with Iron Chef Michiba just before the battle, he said, it's great to be back. Apologies for the inconvenience on you guys. I'm 100% now. I didn't just recover. I feel like I'm a younger man. All right, thanks. <laughs> she needs great. Uh, and uh, Michiba saying his weight's back to what it was before he was hospitalized. Oh, he really? did drop several kilos while in there. And he did tell us earlier that he feels re-energized, revitalized, but he could be a bit rusty for battle. He was gone for eight weeks, and uh, right there, a shot of his arch rival, Toshiro Kanagawa, who's on the scene here to witness Michiba in his comeback effort today. And mm -hmm. right there, checking it out, the Iron Chef piling on and in the dried Benito oh, shavings. Yeah. What a relief to see it again. <laughs> there you go, the broth of vigor. Full of vigor. <laughs> That'll bring to life all his dishes. And bringing right? life to us, his signature broth. And now, right here over to Kaji, and this. Um, I think it's glutinous rice. Yes. Rice cakes coming, perhaps? Maybe. Or Steaming? I think he'll steam, yeah. Okay, Kusan. again, Ota, go. I asked Challenger Kaji his feelings about battling Iron Chef Michiba, and he said it's a great honor for a young chef like me to compete against Michiba-san. On top of that, I've been given the chance to do it on his comeback battle. It's a real privilege. All right, a big day for this young fella, and he understands that. And right here on the Iron Chef side. Oh, uh, niboshi. Uh, niboshi, yeah. Okay, dried sardines for making broth. Uh -huh. So he'll probably boil these in umiboshi flavor then. So right? not a broth, but as an item in a stew then. Well, that's what I'm guessing at this stage of the game anyway. All right. he's already got his broth of vigor, right? right. Yeah. Okay. And now the challenger side, fish on the board. Oh, that's pike eel. Okay, pike eel, a must-have item for a summer meal in the Kyoto-style dining. Go! I asked Challenger Kaji why he spent so much time choosing his umeboshi, and his reply was that many of them are too soft. He says, I was looking for those that were more firm, and as far as umeboshi being used as a theme, he said, I only use it as a seasoning, so it's going to be very tough today. All right, mm. thanks, and uh, just as you noted, Takata-san, tough to use as the main ingredient. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll have to wait and see how both sides play it today. Right. Yes. And, uh, I believe he has voiced some displeasure over there. May not be liking that fish he's got either. Here's a, some slow-mo replay of a slicing job. Mm. Now, I understand they try to make eight incursions in over a half-inch width for this. That's supposedly the theory, yeah. Very few can do that, though. And the fish has to be right as well. You know, he was pretty close, okay, though. Okay, and peeling off the skin yeah. there. Maybe around a sixteenth of an inch, oh, I think. Oh, got the pressure cooker. <laughs> okay, Michiba side here. Right, yeah. And another one of his standbys, use of the pressure cooker, and uh, there are his sardines going in. Uh, uh, he threw away the broth. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been great broth. Oh. Mm, but the broth gone and sardines in the pressure cooker. Right, yeah. With some burdocks now and bringing on the umeboshi. Do this quite often with regular sardines. Yeah, it's popular in kind home cooking. Kind of his cooking. own version here. Mm. You know, I think the dried ones are easier to eat because they're oh, smaller. That's a good point, yeah. Okay, and now here on Kaji's side. Right, he's making a type of umeboshi sauce. Mm -hmm. All right, 15 minutes gone, a quarter of the way through. Kusan. Yes. The challenger has a pot boiling on his side. This, I'm told, contains umeboshi and sake. Sake and umeboshi, back to you. All right, an early and correct call, Doc. How about it? Mm -hmm. Well, it's a, a seasoning invented about a thousand years ago. It's called uh, irizake. Irizake. Yeah, it's a simmered sake. Basically. And you use the liquid, the sake part of this. Yeah, and he'll add some more ingredients, uh, like some more plums and things like that, to make it thicker. Like more viscous, right, you Right, mean? right, right. Okay. okay, and now the Iron Chef, a little wipe job there. <laughs> Is this olive oil? I think it's olive oil, okay, yes. Okay, wiping it onto the surface of that plate. 
and the fish so here now. Sea bass. Okay, and thin slices onto the plate. Sounds so Italian. So maybe a carpaccio style dish. Mm. Like, it's almost Italian, isn't it? Could be. Right, like a carpaccio with a cured plum sauce. Oh, good point. That could be, mm. yeah. Mm. I think we've actually maybe confirmed one of his dishes. Great. Now, you sure that's how the umeboshi will be used? <laughs> well, he hasn't written his menu yet, so no guarantees. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't written up his menu yet. Well, I wish he'd do that at the start of the battle. Yeah. It makes it easier. You know, I thought something was missing. Iron Chef Michiba. Kusan? Yes. Yeah, we just noticed and confirmed that Iron Chef Michiba is boiling content in this pot that you see. All right, the jelly-like one. Oh, All right, yes, content yes. jelly, yeah. Okay, and uh, how about, what do you think? Ume uh, bushy jelly? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds too sour. <laughs> but could well be. Now, here's kaji shiso leaves and some umeboshi paste over the Rolling, pike maybe? Maybe for rolling? Think he'll do that? Yeah, he'll roll and steam them, oh, I think. Could be. Gonna go with that one, then? And then the meat would spread out like flower petals. Uh, that's a good idea, yeah. Yeah, it'll be really pretty. That's my guess. What do you think? Well, I think it's a good guess. <laughs> okay, okay, a pike eel roll, let's call it. But just to make it interesting, I'm gonna say he's gonna fry them. Oh, oh, yeah. Steam versus fry, all right. Yeah, and okay, rolling them we'll there. See. Note us up with Kandagawa for a few words with him. Go ahead and take it, big fella. Thank you. Chef Kandagawa is here with us today to cheer on his rival, Michibasan. And how does the Iron Chef look in his first battle back? Well, he's on a roll. He's doing great, using his creativity. Uh -huh. Just fantastic. And how would you rate his performance? Uh, somewhere between seven and nine. <laughs> okay, and that means? Wait, you know, that's a lucky number in Japan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and how about some words of encouragement for Michiba-san? Roxan, keep it up! <laughs> okay, and with that, I'll send it back to you, Fukui-san. <laughs> All right, thanks. And you know, the word was that Kandagawa even sent flowers to Michiba's restaurant oh. to celebrate his return. Well, that oh. was nice. Yeah. 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 Hmm. You know, there may be uh, a heated rivalry between these two, but below the surface of that, they have a genuine mutual respect for sure. each other. Yeah. Now, this is the cured plum sauce, right? Uh, yes, it is, yeah. Okay, looks like a carpaccio there. That mm -hmm. It does. Now, back with the challenger, a sheet of dried seaweed. For sushi? And he's rolling it up, so you know what that means? Right. He's not going to steam it. No, I know that now. Oh, that's uh, <laughs> so raw then? Raw? What, did, what did I say? I don't think so. You said it fry it. Okay. Will he do that? Well, yeah, he will. <laughs> well, what about the raw yeah. idea? Uh, raw's not an option. Because no one will like it. <laughs> okay, frying it is frying. All right, now back with me, Chiba. Uh, mayonnaise. Kusan? Yes. That's right, it is mayonnaise and whipped fresh cream, mm. and he's also added meringue to that as well. Oh, okay. okay. Mm. Wow, mm. look. Wow. To the carpaccio. Hey, he's just <laughs> splattering it on. <laughs> A dressing of mayonnaise, whipped cream, and meringue, splattering that one, shaking it on all over. <laughs> this looks like it should be Iron Chef Sakai's dish, not his. <laughs> yeah. It's like a painting, an abstract modern art he's painting. Being, uh, rather bold here. And laying it on big time. Yeah, I agree. It's wow. almost drowning in it. <laughs> and the front is a blob right there in the middle. <laughs> Man alive, that looks to be uh, more dressing than Seabass. <laughs> well, it should be okay. Okay, now Kaji side assistant there with some prawns. Piercing skewers. Skewering them? For grilling, I think. I would think so, yeah. And cured plums go well with prawns. Well, prawns are quite subtle, right? So it should be quite nice. Mm. Sounds like they'd match up. I think Kusan. so. Yes. I have some comments from the other Iron Chefs who are also watching Michibasan in his comeback battle today. First, Chen-san says he seems to be as fired up as ever, if not more. And Sakai-san made the observation that he hasn't lost his touch, but he sure has lost his tan. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, sharp observation by Sakai. You know, during the period that Michiba was inactive, Sakai and Chen were forced to pick up the slack and a lot of added pressure was placed on them, but they came through. Mm -hmm. Each man won three times and uh, honorary Iron Chef Ishinabe came in here and picked up a win. So the Gourmet Academy's pride well defended during his absence and good thing he's back for today's theme. Sakai was heard to say, glad it's not me when the umeboshi was unveiled. <laughs> really? Yeah, try to use that in French cuisine. Uh, good luck. No, no. All right, 30 minutes gone, 30 to go. Crossing the halfway point into the second half. We'll see if fatigue does become a factor for the Iron Chef and chopping up, uh, mulching this umeboshi here. Right, this is the, the red ones from the uh, Fukui Prefecture. Okay, mixing it up into some broken up tofu. Mm. Okay, and this is called uh, shirai in style. I think there's flour in it too, actually. Right, right, right. Mm. Fukuzan? Yes. The ingredients are flour, cornstarch, umeboshi, and tofu. Yes, and the flour and cornstarch in it kind of sucking up all, all the moisture of the other two. This would be for frying. This too? Yeah. Mm, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, tempura. Okay. Well, you know, it's okay to make tempura with, just with umeboshi, right? Never had that mm -hmm. before. Oh, really? Oh, it's great. Yeah. I mean, I've never even heard of it before. <laughs> oh, it's very appetizing. It's wonderful. All right. Oh, tempura, the direction you think he's heading with that. Now here, let's check in on this. Oh, he's going to fry. Yeah. Challenger yeah, side fry. here. And what did you call this batter? It's uh, like a tiny rice cracker almost, like popped rice. Ah, very pretty. 
These are not breadcrumbs. No, no. 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 Fukuzan. Rice cracker. Yes. The challenger has told us that technically this is called shinbikiko or crushed rice cakes. Mm. All right. Thanks, Ota. Crushed rice cakes. Mm -hmm. And they have colored versions of this as well. Okay. Real yes. pink and red. Yes, yes, right? yes. Okay. Now let's check out the contents of the Iron Chef's pressure oh, cooker. Oh, look at that. Mm. Fukuzan. Yes. The ingredients in the pressure cooker, once again, burdocks, kombu kelp, red umeboshi, and dried sardines, which were hydrated and seasoned with sake, sweet sake, and soy sauce. Wow. Thanks, Ota. That's just loaded with calcium, isn't it? And if he does write up his menu, what do you think he's going to call that one? Good uh, question. Uh, this is so tough. On him. We've got to make it a rule that he has to write the menu first. Indeed. Okay. Indeed. <laughs> now, what is this? Ah. Uh, another okay. unidentified this utensil. One, uh, I've seen this before. Okay, you squeeze it out, right? Tofu like, noodles? Like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a device to squeeze noodles out. Okay. And it goes right into hot water. All right, and here he goes with it over the stove. Okay, now and watch this. Ah, okay, see that? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, okay. yes. So after this is done, you chill it and then you serve it as is. Okay, so chilled, making it uh, perhaps an appetizer. Like a, yeah, a starter of okay. something like so that. Okay, so he'll yeah. cook them and put them on ice. And now back to the challenge side, a very vibrant, bright color uh, red there. Yeah, the yeah. color of shiso leaves. Yes. Yeah, this red liquid that the challenger has in this bowl is what he calls red umeboshi vinegar. Red umeboshi vinegar. That's wow. right. It's okay. already sour in my mouth. I can taste it. I'll tell you, it. right from the beginning, my mouth's had a uh, reflexive, <laughs> defensive feeling here. Now, the challenger has some added some gelatin, I to think. To the vinegar, right? yeah. okay. Uh -huh. So a dessert should be. Okay. okay. Yeah, something else too. Anybody see? Didn't catch that. What's this going to be? I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> okay, no idea. You got it? Yeah, I just wanted to say that uh, there is no gelatin in this yet. No. Oh. Uh, but the white things that he just added to the bowl are akazuki. Okay, must be oh, that okay. right there, which is what, Doc? Uh, it's the stem of a yam potato plant, actually. Okay, so it's soaking up in there. It's mm -hmm. marinated then, I guess. Right, yeah. Okay, so he's going to pickle the vegetables in this? Right, so my apologies to everyone listening. Uh, <laughs> no problem. <laughs> now back with you. the Iron Chef. Now the Iron Chef's cooling this down, chilling the noodles. Okay, after dropping them into boiling water, came off and iced them down. They're cool by now and assume they'll be part of an umeboshi flavored appetizer. One would think so, yes. Okay, and now swinging back to the challenger, 15 minutes left in the battle. Men at work over their skewered prawns. I don't believe they've been cooked yet. A bowl of sauce at the side there. Did they put the umeboshi sauce on? Looks yes. like they've done that. Oh, they did, okay. Okay, cured plum sauce on the prawns, yes. Yeah, the glaze-like sauce, uh, I believe, was made from cured plums strained through a sieve, light soy sauce, and sugar. All right, thanks, okay. Ota. Mm -hmm. And the Iron Chef just added some sliced abalone. If okay, I'm not it's mistaken. gone in like right it? here. Yes. That rice porridge type mixture. It is rice in there, correct? Umeboshi and rice porridge. Okay, and that's often eaten when one is sick at home. I <laughs> well, don't think uh, Michiba would still be in any not, need of that not. right now after he's <laughs> yeah. coming back here. Kusan. Yes. Yeah, that dish that looks like porridge is actually a mix of broth and lily bulbs, no abalone. All right, oh. correction noted there. Oh. Okay, edible lily bulbs. Again, sorry, it looked like abalone slices to me. Okay, it Ota, it does have rice, yes? <laughs> yes, it does. Okay, so he's added edible lily bulbs and rice in that broth, and it's a little Imagine, simmer over there. Yeah, and he'll add some cured plums to that. It's got to be in the okay, cards. Come. Yep, yep. Challenger's fried pike eel rolls have come off and kaji slicing off the ends and they are looking fine. Yeah, and the, the cured plums inside look really pretty when you cut it open. A little hot yeah. to the touch there. They look like the sushi rolls in the U.S., you know what I mean? And it uh, <laughs> looks like he is slicing them up into bite-sized pieces and should go down nicely, mm. perhaps, with the sauce? Um, not sure. He might just have some sort of drips of sauce over top of it. You know, actually, that'd be best if we could eat them right now. Sauce or no right sauce, now, right you're ready now. to wolf one down right I, I now. I am, huh? I am, okay. it's true. <laughs> nice and hot, yeah. Mm, I bet they're wonderful. Good. Mm. And they look great up close, and now back with the Iron Chef's side. Oh, it's the Jelly's uh, the content. ready, I think Jelly's so. Jelly's done. I uh, wonder if it's been flavored with umeboshi yet, though. I don't think so. Okay. Fukuzan! So, yes. Yeah, that's right. It has no flavoring at all yet. All right. And uh, yeah, I know, go ahead. I know, to I know. Okay. I think this is going to be squeezed out like noodles, and then it'll have a plum sauce on top of it. Okay. okay. Umeboshi flavored mm. jelly noodles. Oh, that could be. All right. Ten minutes left. Michiba continuing to work on the blocks of content jelly. Now over to the challenger side. Some early plating action taking place here. Is that octopus? Octopus mm -hmm. offering coming oh, our way. Okay. Octopus is great with the uh, sake and, and plum paste. And being presented nicely. Mm, pretty colors. It's a great. And we're up dish. close on that one. Okay, he's heating this oh, really? up. Oh, Iron Chef Michiba's carpaccio creation. Oh, you've got to be kidding. He's got the whole plate resting <laughs> over the flame. I've never seen this before. Oh, he's heating it up. Oh, you really? Iron Chef Michiba's carpaccio creation. 
<laughs> you've, he's, you've got to be kidding. He's got the whole plate <laughs> resting over a flame. Uh, I've never seen this before. <laughs> well, I tell you, hope that plate doesn't crack open. Yeah. This w is a, wouldn't want to try no, this at home. This is rather new. Mm. You got that right. <laughs> I, was, I was wondering why you made that so early. I guess you already had this in mind. Okay, and uh, now here, the umeboshi sauce, I believe, a bit of that onto the surface of the rice porridge. It's resting nicely in there, and still got to be wondering about that carpaccio plate. Mm. Yeah. Why on the stove now on Kaji's side? Okay, the cooked flavored rice is ready. Okay, rice and some other items. What's that, grilled fish? Looks uh, like it. Yeah, red snapper. All right. Okay, okay. Red snapper rice. Oh, yeah. Snapper and rice. Okay. Mm. Okay, and uh, this one to have an umeboshi flavor as well. Sure, of course. Should be great. Looks like a winner to these eyes. A rice dish coming into view. Well, you know, in, in Japanese cuisine, it's a, a must-have item, right? Definitely. And looks like he's making rice balls with it. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Just the serving. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Rice mm. on each side. Challenger Kaji with his a red snapper rice dish. The Iron yes. Chef with the rice porridge. Umeboshi now for Kaji's rice dish. Oh, that should taste so good. I can't wait to try this one. Yeah. Another <laughs> fine-looking effort. Now, if we can swing back to the Iron Chef here, I think he's making the noodles here. From the jelly. Oh, pretty. But uh, not exactly in noodle form. <laughs> no, well, like blocks, yeah. really. Blocks. Yes, five minutes yeah. left now. Coming down to crunch time in the Umeboshi battle. Challenger Kenji Kaji, the young one against Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba in Michiba's comeback battle. Can the youngster knock off the returning Iron Chef? Kaji side here. One big Umeboshi plopped in the middle of a milky white mixture in that one. And both sides beginning to pick up the pace now as we near the finish of this one. Ah, uh, shoot. Forgot about that. What? Uh, Iron oh, Chef, hey, uh, a mess up? Uh-oh, uh maybe he overcooked it. Look, look, it's burnt. It's burnt oh, in some places. No. Mm. Uh. Ah, I forgot all about that. Oh, my. A carpaccio, <laughs> no looks longer. looks like a melted cheese or something, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, that's oh. unfortunate. Yes, oh. Iron Chef Michiba apparently forgot about this, burned it a little, and says he might have ruined it. No, oh, forgot about it, and yes, it is burned very badly right there around the edge, and he's back, but maybe not quite 100%. He has been out a while. You know, it still looks good to me. I, I yeah, think it's you know, okay. it might even turn out better this way. <laughs> you know, it doesn't smell half bad. <laughs> right. I was going to say the same thing. Yeah. Mm, yes. Yeah, Visually, it may have lost mm. its appeal, but taste-wise, it still may be viable. Mm. But it was such a such a creative and bold attempt. I don't know any other chef would even think about even trying no, something mm, like no. that. Right? Mm -mm. I mean, would you cook a pizza on a ceramic plate? I, nope. I don't think no. so. That's no. why no. he is the Iron <laughs> Chef. And now Kaji here. Okay, and now what's this, this fish? Uh, is that the pike eel? Still cooking that one. Can he bring that in home on time? Under three minutes now. I'm really curious as to what Actually, this is Actually, two and a half minutes mm. left. Wow, oh my. Okay, and now, here he goes. A soup? Umeboshi's gone in. Oh, a lot of them. Could wow. be a soup, yes. Yes, yes, a soup. I okay, now, uh, look at the Iron Chef here. It's... Oh, this is the, the, oh, the tofu noodles. Remember those? Okay, mm. and Junsai water shield in there, right, too. Right, right, Yeah. Okay, now it's come together. Fukuzan! Up right there, his menu. Going to start it. Yes, so yeah, That's what I was going to tell you about, but you've already noticed. <laughs> okay, <Back to> you. <laughs> thank you. Under a minute and a half left, Michiba beginning to write his menu, Finally. putting brush to paper. Summer in Japan there. <laughs> Boy, that conjures up all kinds of images, starting with beer and baseball. <laughs> Summer in Japan and... Uh, uh, cherry blossoms? Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Oh, An okay. assortment of plums. Okay, yeah. Getting one that one down. And now go. a minute to go, the final 60 seconds. Kandagawa closely observing the Iron Chef in his return to Kitchen Stadium. A dead, serious expression on the face of the Don of the Kansai as Michiba continues to write his menu. And I think cured plum noodles is what he said. Okay, there. and of course, Kanagawa wants to see his rival come back in tip-top shape. They've got a good thing going with their spirited competition, and we're all hopeful they'll hook up for a battle before too much time elapses. Eight weeks out of action, basically on the DL for the Iron Chef. 30 seconds left now. Challenger Kaji, their side, finishing up this one. A few factors at play could work to the challenger's advantage today. Iron Chef, first battle back, maybe a bit off his game, and Kaji will try to take advantage of that. And plus, the Iron Chef having that mishap, mess up of what apparently was going to be a Carpaccio offering. He'll have to try and sa salvage that one somehow. But he is back and competing, knowing full well what it takes to win and determined Two, to show he's still got the one. touch. Final seconds tick down and that's it. The cooking's done. The Ume Boshi battle is over. Very nice job. Oh, thanks. Uh, I'm sure it was tough in there with the ingredient and the time limit. So how do you uh, feel now that it's over? Yes, uh, I'm not used to this kitchen. I admit that. Uh, uh -huh. But well, it's... Mm, 
It's hard to say, you know, but what I did, I did what I was trained to do. Did you feel confident? You know, well, confidence? Uh, well, I'm proud of my dishes. Well, welcome back to the Kitchen Stadium. How was your comeback? No, uh, it's been a while since I was this nervous. I'm yeah. sure. But today, you know, uh -huh. umeboshi is a strictly Japanese ingredient. Right. That means you tend to go to Japanese, like mm -hmm. umeboshi in rice porridge, umeboshi with burdocks uh -huh. in a stew. Uh -huh. I do have those traditional items. Of course. But I try to create one dish with uh, a foreign touch to it, oh, cooking oh. the whole thing on the plate. Oh, right. It's a new idea uh -huh. I got. Okay. I like the idea myself. Uh, so overall, your dishes are good? Oh, so they're... Uh, they're good. Yeah. yeah. Challenger Kaji is offering eight dishes. First, fresh yuba with cured plum. The graceful sweetness of yuba is presented nicely in a broth seasoned with cured plums. Akazuiki. The crunchy texture of the stem of the yam potato plant is pickled in vinegar and cured plums. Third, tile fish soup umeboshi flavor, a soup flavored with cured plums. The tile fish and water shield are wonderfully matched in this soup, a perfect one for summer. Octopus with cured plum sauce. The red spot in the center is made by simmering cured plums in sake. Snapper and umeboshi on steamed rice. Cooked red snapper and umeboshi were mixed into the steamed glutinous rice. The saltiness of the cured plums ties everything together. Sixth, broiled prawns. What a creative way to enjoy prawns. Smothered in a thin yet flavor packing umeboshi sauce before being broiled. Fried sushi roll, another creative offering by the challenger combining ingredients that express the season of summer and the crispy crushed rice cracker finish adds a new dimension. Last is steamed abalone and yam with umeboshi. The soft and fluffy whipped yam and the firm abalone are harmonized by the sophisticated use of the cured plum in the center. Iron Chef Michiba is offering six dishes. First, umeboshi noodles. Packaged is a soothing starter for a summer meal. The water shield adds an interesting textural component and is accentuated by the subtle aroma of cured plums. Second, abalone and cured plum sauce. Here, he prevents the abalone from absorbing the red color by adding extra broth to the pickling plum vinegar. Grilled sea bass carpaccio presented like a pizza. Only Michiba would dare propose an offering like this. Cured plums hidden under the mayonnaise announce themselves as the carpaccio is tasted. Stewed burdocks and sardines, a variation of a traditional recipe, this one using dried sardines. The cured plums not only mask their smell, but take over as the main player. Fifth, umeboshi rice porridge with edible lily bulbs, a healthy dish, perhaps one conceived during his recuperation. Last, cured plum jelly. Through the cool looking jelly, the plum sweetened with sugar will arise, making a pleasing and playful close to his summer meal. A young man of steel, a master of the Ikama School of Culinary Arts and already one of the leaders on the Kyoto cuisine scene, today's challenger, Kenji Kaji. Welcome back as he calls out Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba returning after a two-month absence. Chairman Kaga unveils the theme, a healthy one to keep the doctor at bay, umeboshi. And with umeboshi in his hands, challenger Kaji produces a stadium record eight dishes. Iron Chef Michiba, not far behind, joins the fight with his six. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the umeboshi battle are former lower house member Shinichiro Kurimoto, actress Mayuko Takata, and culinary critic Asako Kishi. First, the dishes of challenger Kaji. This is such a delicate flavor, and well, you know, it's not salty at all. Of course, there's uh, there's some remaining, but it's more sweet than sour. You, you could say this is like a fine wine from Europe. It's finished like that. It's truly a professional dish. I really can't think of anything that's similar to this. Um, the flavor is very sweet and sour, and a bit soothing. It's, it's nice to eat. Irizake, right? Yes. 
very well prepared. Um, the cured plums and sake have been simmered to perfection. The flavor has um, quite a body to it. The octopus texture, the gummy texture, it's there. Well, the cured plums, they're so nicely blended here. It matches so well with the octopus meat. You've truly created a, a masterpiece here. The cured plum and rice are not mixed very well. You should have added at least an aroma of plum in the rice somehow before adding the cured plums on top of this. That's just what I think. The prawn with a little bit of cured plum flavor. Mm, this is such a pleasant surprise. In eastern Japan, we grill this with a thick layer of rock salt, but you've refrained from doing that and in so letting the prawn speak up for itself. It's, well, quite skillful. The cured plums come out from the center, and this is very nice. This is good even when it's cold, so you know it would have been really great after you had just fried these. I could handle just a little bit more sourness in this. Oh, really? Yeah, but it's beyond my perception of, of pie keel, really. Mm. I like this a lot. It's, it's very tasty. I like the visual impact when you take <laughs> off the lid. It looks like the Japanese flag. <laughs> it, it really uh, appeals to us Japanese emotionally, I think. <laughs> the yam potato is stronger than I thought, and the abalone is just so tender. It makes me think that the yam is too. And by adding the cured plums, everything just comes together so, so nicely. It's, so delicious. I think this represents the depth of flavors in high-class Kyoto cuisine. This is so well executed. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Michiba. It doesn't speak up so strongly, but it's nice and cool. The water shield is chopped up, making it really easy for us to enjoy this. It's a very considerate dish. It's quite delicious. The kombu broth is nice and subtle, and the cured plums are well accentuated, I think. Mm, it was very good. Without the umeboshi, this dish wouldn't have been so noble in terms of sourness and mildness. Well, in other words, uh, simplicity reigns because of the cured plums. But you know, I think the cured plums are a little bit weak in this. <laughs> now I smashed the umeboshi and sprinkled it on top. Yeah, yeah, but I still think that the mayonnaise and caviar are overpowering this whole dish. Now he'll serve the stew, finishing it by breaking up the umeboshi. The sardines? These were dried ones, right? They're so tender, yet they maintain some firmness. And the burdock roots were just great. The cured plums are disguised in this dish, but they tie all the elements together. Well, that's true. But I wanted to see the plums in this you know, one. <laughs> yes. You're asking too much, wanting to see plums cooked perfectly in a dish in only one hour. It's impossible. If you want salty plums, fine. But you're asking too much. Look, we've got some leftovers, so, you know, go ahead. I was trying hard not to make it too salty. Apparently you can't see that. Never heard such a comment. There's a well-balanced sweetness and sourness combined in this dessert. Actually, good is the only word I can really say about it. Cured plums and sugar go well together, but if you're not careful, it can taste cheap. But you prepared a strong sweet syrup for this, which was the, the right thing to do. Oh. Sharp and tart near the end, we'll find out who's left with a sour taste.
誰もが心待ちにしていた鉄人道場六三郎の復活作品を作り上げて一番感激しているのは自分自身ではないでしょうかそれでは発表します Today, welcoming back the Iron Chef Japanese with the truly Japanese theme ingredient, but not lost in the shuffle. Challenger Kaji, a rising star from the West, producing quality and quantity. Iron Chef Michiba, first time back on the counter attack. Who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef! He's back all the way! Michiba winning it! Kaji's eight dishes, not enough. Iron Chef Michiba and accepting the congratulations from the challenger. And Kandagawa too applauding the effort turned in by the Iron Chef in his comeback battle. Back on track and back where he belongs. In the winner's circle, Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba.